it's Dylan back here. Um, uh, I just wanted to make this video before the NFL draft comes on in three and a half hours. And so, and so I just want to give my thoughts on the, on the Falcons draft. Which, I mean, already it's been a, I guess you could say, newsworthy day as far as the NFL and the NFL draft is concerned. Um, just earlier it was reported that, um, it was reported that, hang on a minute, there we go. It was reported that, that uh, Tim Tebow uh, tried out for the Jacksonville Jaguars at tight end. You know what? And you know what? He, Tim Tebow wanting to make a comeback and play for the Jaguars. I mean, it kind of makes sense because, because um, look who their head, look who the Jaguars head coach is. It's his college coach, Urban Meyer. And plus, Tim Tebow, he's got the body of a tight end. In fact, there were a lot of people that said when, when Tim Tebow was was heading into the NFL. Uh, ten years ago, that he should have went in as a tight end because, like, he's got the body. He's got the body for it, and so it. So if Tim Tebow actually does sign with the Jaguars as a tight end, that is going to be interesting to see, especially since the Jaguars are most likely going to draft Trevor Lawrence tonight. And so after that bit of news, there is some more news that came out. Aaron Rodgers wants out of Green Bay. Now it's no, it is no secret that Aaron Rodgers, that these last couple, these last few years, Aaron Rodgers and the Packers had not been getting along. And it, they're saying that part of it is a contract dispute. That's part of it. But another, but the, it's, been, it's been said that another thing is that he's not getting along with anyone in the front office. So. He'll, It'll be interesting to see what happens on that end. So, but, but the main point of this video will be the Falcons. Of course, I'm pissed to leave here. I'm pissed to leave here in about 30 minutes to go. Pissed to leave here in about 30 minutes to uh, go out to eat. And I should be, and I, I should be back in time. I should be back in time. Uh, I should be back just in time for when the draft comes on. Um, of course, I live here in West Tennessee, so here the draft will come on at 7 o'clock, so I should be back in time for that. And so, now the Falcons pick, Falcons pick at number 4. Well, we already know, we already know, um, the first three picks are going to be quarterbacks. Jaguars at number 1, they'll take Lawrence. The Jets at number two would take Zach Wilson out of BYU, and it and from what reports have been saying today, the 49ers would take Trey Lance out, out of North Dakota State, and so so then the Falcons have number four. Now there's a few there's a few directions that the Falcons will go in. Um, I think what most likely will happen is the Falcons will stay at four and take. Uh, tight end Kyle Pitts out of Florida, which, which you know what, I am fine with that. Look, Matt Ryan. I mean, yeah, the Falcons could take Justin Fields, but Matt Ryan still has a few good years left. Matt Ryan has two years on his contract left, and so if I were the Falcons, I would use those two remaining years to build a team around Matt Ryan to try to, to try to succeed around Matt Ryan until his contract expires and so look in the past the Falcons have simply drafted out of need but that doesn't always work out sometimes the best the best thing to do is to simply draft the best player available and at number four I, I seriously think the best player available will be Kyle Pitts but but that's not the only option. But like I said, if the Falcons were the draft Justin Fields, I'd be fine with that too. However, another option that the Falcons do have is to trade down and get a few more picks. 
I'll be, and honestly, I'd be fine with that as well. And so, there's, there's a, but there's a few directions that the Falcons could go in. Now, obviously, no matter, now look, no matter what the Falcons do at number four, whether they take Kyle Pitts, take Justin Fields, or trade down, not everyone is going to be happy. Not every Falcons fan is going to be happy. No matter what the Falcons do. There's that old saying. You can't please everyone. And so. We'll wait and see what happens tonight. Now. One thing that a lot of Falcons fans are not thinking about. There are. Yes the Falcons need help on defense. But guess what. The Falcons still. I think it's like eight. I think the Falcons got eight picks. So after tonight, they'll still have seven picks unless they trade, unless they pull a surprise and trade back into the first round, which is also possible. The Falcons can still get good players later in the draft. So that, so look, the Fal one of the Falcons' best players on defense is Grady Jarrett. And when the Falcons drafted him in 2015, they got him in the fifth round. And look how he turned out. So, so, please, Falcons fans, chill. Chill. Y'all need to chill. Look. Look, Thomas Dimitrov did not lead the Falcons in a great cap situation. And so, and so, that doesn't give Arthur Smith and Terry Fontenot a lot to work with, salary cap wise. So look, look, y'all, chill, chill, chill. And look, the Fal and after the draft, the Falcons will most likely sign some undrafted free agents. And you know, and guess who? And guess who was on the foul? And guess who? Uh, and guess who, who Falcons fans are wanting back on this team? Brian Poole. He was a good player for the Falcons when he was signed as an undrafted free agent in 2016. And he turned out pretty well. Look, y'all. Chill. Chill. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to make, I just wanted to make this quick video. Um... Like I said, I honestly do think the Falcons are going to stay at four and pick Kyle Pitts. And then after that, we'll see, we'll see, but then we'll see what happens after that. I mean, it's already been, already been a newsworthy day as far as the NFL and the NFL draft is concerned. So, anyway guys, I hope y'all have a fantastic day. Um... Uh, I hope y'all, if you watch the NFL draft, I hope y'all enjoy it. So, anyway guys, I gotta get going as I'm fixing to leave here. So, hope y'all have a fantastic day, and God bless.